Are we rolling? Looks like we're rolling. Sorry about that. Not entirely sure what was up with my stream. Um, yeah. Rebooted the router, rebooted the modem, going back in. Hey, buddy. Did it cut out again? Yeah, performance mode. They're cutting out again. No, it looks like we're good. Looks like we're good, I think. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. What's going on? Are, are we good? Oh, thank you. Okay, just watch that. Thank you. Jesse? The bridge is doing something! And it's locked. The bridge is doing something. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys are reacting what's going on in the game, not what's going on with my stream. Yes, I think it's Fragitum. Incident question was brought to HR's attention. According to the staff, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with attention to consuming his private meal. While made sandwich cut diagonally and packed in the bicycle container, but discovered the refrigerator had redacted his meal. And the kick bureau owned appliance as he expressed his frustration. The behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was loaded soon after. Filson complied with the security's command of the theft. Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing week. Non mandatory. Play this game. Oh, it's got arms. Oh, my face. Okay, we're doing fine. Damn it. Oh, I died against a boss. Mm. That was fantastic. But after this, after this boss, I'll reward myself with a delicious alcoholic iced tea. We're okay. We're okay. This will be fine. I mean, I'm a little disappointed that I, I blew it on that boss. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The bridge 
fruit's doing something. <laughs> I just saw the way he sounds. The fruit's doing something. If I look away, it hurts me. like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Get me, come and get me, come on. Which arm? Ow! I get the talking smack. Plus bucket. Jesus. Okay, that's it. Much harder. Okay, okay. Now try something a little bit different here. Something I'm missing, obviously. Hmm. No, what I'm missing probably is astral constructs. Upgrade. Huh. Like to upgrade Pierce, please. Can't quite construct that yet. But eight points to get that. Eight points to get that. So I want to construct charge. There, let's go with Pierce. Okay, we have a damage by aiming 31%. Consecutive kills, of course. That's what I always need. All right. However, I'm going to switch to spin. There we go. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Doing everything right, but one mechanic isn't being engaged with. Okay, probably something to do with the legs, I would guess. That's what I would guess, if I was a guessing person. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Jesse? The bridge is doing something! 
Philip. If I look away, it hurts me. Okay. like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Something for you. Ow! Oh. Yeah, I gotta grab those balls and throw them back at them. Because my first few attempts at grabbing it didn't work. That's why I wasn't doing it. I need to grab those big balls, throw it back at it. Don't know if I actually could hurt the legs. We're gonna find out. Yep. You're set up. Hello? Yes, Jesse? The Frank is doing something! Philip? <laughs> Philip? <sighs> No. Be good. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? I mean, how can I say be good when you're already the best, right? Damn it. I didn't know that three eyes are guided. Parkings, parking. Can't, can't fall through the holes. Sorry, did I, did I make you angry, cat? Are you complaining about how I'm getting beat up? I hope you're complaining about how I'm getting beat up. Don't want to make you angry. Ah. 
I can do this. I can do this. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Jesse? I'll say I like you and I don't like a whole lot of people. I'll go with that. How's that sound? My people watching the stream are the best ever. Yes, that's it. You're watching my stream, therefore you are the best ever. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. My viewers are the best. Oh, here we go. Ow! See, Equus agrees. Come on. Problems. Okay, let's try a different weapon combination here. The uh, full auto isn't working as well as I thought it would. Not go with spin. Let's go back to grip. I like grip. I like to grip and sip. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Thank you. Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Can't even see what it did in that window. If I look away. Yeah, it could be Jigger Mamads, but I think, I think what I need to do is make my shots. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Ugh, wish I could grab those things reliably.
Oh, I'm out of energy. That's the problem. Way to strafe right into it. Well, that's all I needed to do. I was getting to the last round. I was getting to the last round and then uh, blowing it. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Poor buddy. Ugh, poor guy. Heading back to Langston. Hey, Highline. The former descent is back, not gone. His previous disappointment it is not part of the board, us. We apologize for the denial knowledge. You will see face the former. It is stealing linking altered items. It builds a competition, not us. You must espionage, destroy. One possible, inevitable. Do not believe, get hyped about the former's lies and ads. We offer a better bonus package health plan. If you leave, you'll be sorry, dead. <laughs> and you'll never work, exist. In this torn cosmic reality again. Yes. Well. Refrigerator. Containment procedures. No unique procedures required. Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 60s. No cooling functionality. Doors decorated with crayon illustrations by Redact. Illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. Paper cannot be burned or torn. I know first came to the Bureau of Attention after it survived the collapse of a New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appointment in the apartment of Redacted, rented by a man named Redacted. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Redacted, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, retained ownership of the item until 1974, and the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. New altered effect has been observed. See file AI10.F for details. See 10.K. Yes. Yeah, it's called the former, as in the former member of the board, or the former board, but also could be a former as in damage, creator, or that who molds. Could mean a lot of things. Ah, for my, too. Yeah. Better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance. You should be. Someone died. Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. 
The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I want to tackle this guy, hold him down, and shave his head. Uh, as in the Celtic monster life, especially the Baylor, one with a single giant eye that could took 12 attendants to lift the lid and could kill with a look. Sounds about right. Very good. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. Both. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. <laughs> What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining I don't know. Knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Knife rain. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Mm-hmm. Certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. Fix your tie. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years, and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. There we go. Gun picked you. That's the difference. I'll see you later, Langston. Okay, me give us another drink. Yes, Knife Rain's a great name. And I'll be right back. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon Cell. 69! Get it? 69! I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69, sir. But you just said it! Come on, you guys, it's funny! So many cell breaches. I guess life's a breach, huh? <laughs> I'm funny. I better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have a cat to feed.
Numerous cell breaches on every level. These hiss things are a bad influence on my collection. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? Maintenance staff will repair any damaged systems once normal operations have resumed, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I told Salvador it was dangerous, but no. Why listen to Langston? I'm just a Panopticon supervisor. You guys didn't bring, like, checkers or anything, did you? Any active duty security personnel found engaging in non-sanctioned leisure activities will be relieved of duty pending review, sir. You could have just said no. <laughs> Evidently, I missed some idle chat. Hey, finally. Why is it locked? Oh, I gotta go through this path. Hey, just some personal mod. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I brought you a drink. Would you like some uh, hard iced tea raspberry flavor? Evade energy cost. Close that. I like to evade. Yeah. I mean, are they robots? Sure, I can like it. Shut up, cat. Okay, I want to be back on camera. Say hi to everybody. Um. Hang on. Okay. All right. Oh my God! Did she have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, her CIA spy shit. God. Okay. Yeah, they have the green ones, and hmm. the record on. They're endangering us by bringing this in. If Trench was still around, Zachariah Trench was a national hero. Keep your conspiracy nonsense to yourself. Well, I'm gonna see Dylan. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the his signal I could arrange.
We'll get to those in a second. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? Oh, you said everything. It's fine. All good. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see... Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA-warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. If they're in there, we go around that way. No. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Good to think of it. The song should have blown back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Put in the token and enjoy the ride. What do you know about Doc? Uh, had a Reese Bluffsley. Now he's been acting. If... Oh, okay. These are new conversations. Okay. What do you know about Doctor Doc? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Had a research. Loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. He's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after-work beers down there. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Yeah. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Cognitive collapse. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. 
Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Oh, should I go back to the quarry there, Aqua Stench Man? I have to go. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. See you soon. Hey, look at that. Speech analysis. We understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance. Perhaps their incantation is an effort to express that resonance using human spoken cords and speech. Would there be differences the incantation was used in a different language? The most common used word is... Ah, oh, okay. DLC. Well, I'll be doing the DLC eventually. most common word used is want. Every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want it to be true. You want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the hiss is referring to? The hiss believe humanity, possibly all not hiss life, wants to join it to be consumed by it? The second most used words is through in time. There, there is no clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation is nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend. It's beyond idiotic. See a referral report. So examine the invasion's timeline of events, possible patterns in history. That's a summary. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of the lack of reliable communication between bureau sectors and staff. Learning models in ground zero of the invasion base located within this executive sector. Once it becomes possible for interviews, surviving personnel, and pointing to the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that timeline may help answer. How does the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does HIS residents advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world, the cross-dimensional destination? Refer to a report. Television show reporter's proposal based on the success of America Overnight, I'd like to propose a creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. We also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts just on civilian audiences and see how they react to certain facts. That's fiction, in the event the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various licenses we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particularly proper property seems pr promising, considering its content and tone are precisely looking for. It's called Night Springs. It's been off a year off the air for a few years now. Night Springs. Is that, uh, is that a uh, in character in game reference to Alan Wake, or is that a reference to uh well, what's what's the podcast called? Night, night something. Um, it's about the small town trapped in an interdimensional pocket. No one knows where. All the states are wrong, but it's still the United States. Uh, night Vale. Yeah, it has to be Night Vale because Night Springs is really close to that. That has to be it. Yeah, I really like Night Vale. It's a little, it's a little bit, it's a little cheeky for me, but I still like it. They didn't give me any orders before she left. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a full security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ594. It's a reference to Night Vale, nice. The proper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. That feels a lot of fun. Yeah. Why are you red? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. Hepton's they were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. 
We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay Hiss. Thank you. I'll get to that in a moment. Not the only one who's busy, you know. All right, back to work. I will gladly help you with that, my friend. Where is my boy? Yes, cat. Upper level. Executive. Central level. Central. Okay. Are stabilizing. Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's Ah, probably right here. I see guards. I heard some rangers saying you saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. How about you just listen to him? The idea... ...to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? The idea of a brevet promotion is well established. People step up in times of need. Okay, I need to find where this person's at. There we go. You're my brother. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted his name right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been a mirror. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget them. Almost hear our words, but you forget them. Here we go. There's the moment I'm waiting for. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder song distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? True? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. What did you expect? It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Wow. Give us some time for applause. We 
though you tell nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. What? And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worms of tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. <laughs> You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. Poor guy. Just a child. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. I mentioned that before. My name was Jesse Dillon. Wait, what? But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? Oh no. I find that weird. Oh no. Sure. Oh no. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? No, he's not. You are a warm through time. The only child. And what does an only child want more than anything? A playmate. Holy shit. Thanks for the tip off there, Equus Bench Man. That's super important. Jesse Dillon. The only child. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. You found this thing, used it to create a copy. And no wonder she's been invisible for this long. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. Oh, wow. To talk to my brother, please. That hits like a bullet. Whew. Dylan, 
Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. Just this now. again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or maybe it was another dream already. Or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. This is fantastic. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. So what do you think's going on there, Catastrophe Black? You said, oh no, as well. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. The thunders. Whew, whew. This is some intense stuff. Oh, he still has more to say to me. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. Yeah. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds side by side on top of each other some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. <laughs> Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. Let's bring the hiss to, uh... He didn't. 
like the idea. Max Payne. What sure. Do he know. I'm not wild about the idea myself. Are we done? Nope. There's still more. Well. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. Saving. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan oh. talk about this very dream. This very dream. He said just now. And repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, villain. That's good. There has to be that meta moment, just like in Max Payne. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? Are you done? I don't know. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Push the fingers through the surface into the way. You've always been here. You always to be true. Ooh, wow. Okay. I am having some problems here. What corner? Oh, I'll check. Go back in there and check the corner. Definitely will. Corner? Nothing? Those two? And there's Nixon. Okay, okay, okay. That was intense. That was really intense. Apparently the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of safety. Great. Great. How are you? Have a nice little talk. Yeah, we want to talk again. You have a red box around you. Have a talk. Have a talk. What are you doing, Jesse? It can't be easy seeing Dylan like this. I'm fine. What can you tell me? Is he still... human? Or is he his? I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak. But from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total hiss takeover. Or maybe this is just a new form of hiss. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the hiss in. <laughs> does that change anything? Please, I quest. Voluntary conversion. Walk her through it. Hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. But again, this is new territory for me. I'll need time. You won't have it. I'm going to shut down this live projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. Better that than what Dylan is now. I'm shutting it down. This has to end. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Thank you, Emily. Oof. Intense.
for me, it's just, um, I, I have a, my family situation is very contentious and like everybody's family situation is very contentious. And the idea of having a sibling who's there but isn't there like hits me right here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that the, if my theory is true. I suspect it is. Luck, With those two lines about the only uh only child. But Yeah. Brother. And she brought him here. She's gonna get us all killed. What if she's working with the hiss? Isn't it strange she showed up just when You mean she was invisible? You need something? How do I go find that containment pack? Finds a container in the movie light. Okay, go to the dead letters. Yeah, I don't remember saying she was invisible. I might be conf getting confused here. Groups that have undergone cognitive collapse only produce outward conforming to the converged set of ideas and are unable to see or explore new ideas. That's no normal piece of paper. Where at? Whatever. Okay. I need to know what's going Find the other pages. Cognitive collapse. Never heard of that. I probably talk to my uh, psychologist friends. They'll probably tell me about it. I mean, you inform me of it. I appreciate that. Taking somebody over. I almost know what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I have a contentious relationship with my, uh, Sibling. Siblings. Okay. 
Of course, again, it's more complicated than that again. Just trying not to tell myself. It's, it's it's not a matter of being comfortable. It's just uh, yeah, it's, it's it's family stuff. It's painful. It's ooh, cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat. And its eyes move, and I think it's angry. But I keep apologizing it, and it won't stop. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. But it won't leave me alone. I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. It, 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 you see it now too. I told everyone here. I need to be careful because it has to be the right slider. It wants me to stay with its eyes and its eyes is moving very fast. I can't keep going. I will worry they will forget. I'm messing with. I need you to write this because I can't keep going with the cat because of this eyes redacted. Smoking ban. Thanks to our recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in next election. Everybody knows smoking is being banned because smoke is toxic to the aliens of the government that sold our planet into a secret deal. Our humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our aliens will be poisoned. Them. If government traders can't stop people from smoking, then they won't get a million dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. National emergency! Politicians are handing the planet over to the alien overlords. We won't let you. You will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker, rebel patriot. Yeah, well, I hate to tell you this, but you're not going to be smoking forever. One thing I can 100% assure you. One of my good, one of my uh, former friends. Um, still wish he was a friend, but you know, things happen when you, people start turning 40. And, but he said the good thing about smoking is that you know what you're going to die from. <laughs> nice drill quote. Perfect. Come on, Sai's yelling for me to stop posting. I will n never stop posting, you cowards. The words of somebody else, yeah, I probably should stop posting. All posting has ever done is ruin my life. Although the people that from a, a, a different MMA gym that used to have a hate on for me, they never actually came and fought me. They said they wanted to do a boxing match with me. and I told them no. I told them if you want to fight, we can do MMA. They never showed up. They knew exactly where I trained. They knew exactly when I trained. They never showed up. It's a great disappointment. I was hoping they would show up. That was almost 20 years ago. More than 20 years ago. And they kept spot talking up until 15 years ago. Probably even longer. But, yeah. As the line goes, if you have haters, you're doing something right. People only try to tackle people with the ball. Yes, show yourself, Connor. I will never, ever stop training. Come back here. Yep, there we go. There we go. Let's get the hiss out of those letters. Done and done. Perfect. Who is the man coming down your block? It's me you see, with the funk in your walk. Uh, what's going on? Oh. Um, that's probably not good. It's full of mail. Well, 
That one's also full of mail. Let's see what we got here. Letters. Black rock paneling suppresses that as effect. Stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All letters illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any such signs of such damage or cover messages of love. I love you, love you, love you, love you, XX. Items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than redacted and always in a redacted direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts. Black previously believed to be an impossibility by Casper. What's his face? Darling. Goals will take the items outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its final destination under consideration with the budget committee. Items found in the Dead Letter Archives with her, the herd archivist, Ed, found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. Those have no records. You have questions, and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. You lost 45 days in the past four years. Shortening of days, that's why the Vatican has a sundial and simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want to know the secret to everything, compare plasma next to plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon is composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you and I and humanity reside. Cheers. The esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health, aware there are many... Many books purporting to contain the true meaning of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I do not understand that this is usually not done, but if you could greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but I didn't have witness very strange events. They only occur sp um, I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps one or two a year. Last night I saw one. I saw a small empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at the center. While I'm awake again, shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. After this recent incident, I decided to seek help. The doctor says I'm physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. I thank you for your valuable time. Be yours very sincerely, Richard Browker. Last one. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, since the science I sent my first letter, I hope it's not the case you dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you once again to ask for help in understanding the oddity as we follow me at my home. I am renting a new apartment in the city. Space is nothing special, although at the time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I began experiencing strange occurrence. On my kitchen, the tiniest little thing, a tiny little thing with not much but a thing, I sometimes lose myself. Surroundings change. I find myself standing at a, on a dark stone. I stare at the color of the sky, white as the undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps it's a brain issue? I think not, but it feels incredibly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I've become a frightening venture to the kitchen. It's not too much of an inconvenience. I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they can make of it. I would response with little expectation, but great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald, who is kitchen is kicking them out into the astral plane. Boom. These poor people, this you know, people just going on with their lives and the most ridiculous things happening to them. Really? Trying to have a conversation with me? Trying to have a conversation with me using your guns. What did that get you? <sighs> Be nice. Friendly. The hiss really can't do much to me. Anyways. This is as good of a place to stop as any. Let's see if I can find a fast travel position real quick. This, way. this past midnight, I am tired. It's been a long day. Still can't go through there. Probably DLC. I want to get... I'm just going to call it here.
Yeah, I go through here. Huh. That'll take me where I wanted to go. Yes. Absolutely. There we go. All right, everyone. Thanks, Cap. Thanks, Equus. Thanks, others who are watching this. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. Why I put off Final Fantasy instead of Final Fantasy Tactics instead of this. I'll probably play Final Fantasy Tactics on Friday. So yeah, everyone, please have a good week. Be safe. Get your shots if you can, because I can't. At least for another eight weeks. Be good and make good decisions. Thanks, everyone.